This is one of the questions which is a doubt for many students. So let us see how we solve this. Let us first write it down. So we'll have b minus c into x squared minus c minus a into x plus a minus b and that's equal to 0. Since the roots equal, therefore the discriminant, what is discriminant? The one that determines the nature of roots. That discriminant is given by the formula b square minus 4ac that would be equal to 0. So let us write for this what is our a, b and c. So this would be our first step. Now in our a we have to look at the coefficient of x squared. So it is b minus c. Your b is the coefficient of x so it is this. So it is minus into bracket c minus a and our c is the constant which is the term without x. So we have the quadratic equation highest degree 2 so x squared then x term and then without x which is the constant term. So that will give us a minus b. So now that we have the values of a, b and c let us see the discriminant which is b square minus 4ac, what does it become? Our b square will be the square of this. So we will write like so, minus 4 into a is this and our c is this and that is equal to 0. Now if we square this term because it's a negative term the square will be positive and we are using the identity a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. So it will be a positive term here minus into minus will give us plus so the square will be positive it becomes c square minus 2ca plus a square. We have used this formula. Correct? Now minus 4 into bracket we will have to multiply this. So we will start with ab then this into this will give us minus b squared then this into this will give us minus ca this into this will give us plus bc and that's equal to 0. We will close the bracket here. Next thing we'll have to do is open this bracket. So this is very simple. It is just very simple step of opening the bracket. So minus 4ab and minus into minus so plus 4b squared minus into this minus is plus 4ca. This into this becomes minus 4bc and that is equal to 0. Okay. So let me just draw this line over here to separate our thinking step from here. Now can you see this CA and can you see this CA? So we will bring the CA terms together. So minus 2CA plus 2CA will give us plus 2CA, correct? Minus 2 plus 4 will give us plus 2 and the CA plus A squared minus 4AB plus 4b squared and minus 4bc and that's equal to 0. Now you can see that this is giving us a square of c plus a. Okay, it is c plus a whole square. Now can you see out here we are having to prove 2b is equal to a plus c which means I should have a plus c whole square then the other side I should have 2b whole square, correct? Which means I should get 4b square on the other side. In other words, I should have now, let us look at our thinking step. If 2b is equal to a plus c, which is what we already have. Can you see over here? This is your a plus c whole square. Now I should have 2b on this side. So basically I should have 
4b square should be equal to a plus c whole square correct but you will see that you have this 4b square but you have something else in between so let us take this together 4ab minus 4bc and plus 4b squared and that's equal to 0. Now can you see we have got this and we have got this which is a nothing king step right. Now since this is the term which like 4bc is not equal to 4bc and it's not getting cancelled. So there must be something more to it. So let us see if we can transfer this a plus b whole square. If I take minus 4b square that is equal to 0 means I can see over here that this could be a plus c minus 2b if I get a square of the whole thing equal to 0 then when I take the square root it's possible all right because this 4b square will give us the square root 2b so let us check it out if I have a plus c whole square and this is a 2b whole square equal to 0. In the middle, if I take 4b into bracket, I'm getting a plus c. Can you see that? Now, isn't this 4b 2 into 2b? What is this 4b? A 4b is 2 into 2b, correct? So 4b into a plus c means 2 into 2b into a plus c which means it is giving us a plus c minus 2b the whole bracket square equal to 0 and why do i say this is because a square minus 2ab plus b square will give us a minus b whole square can you see that this is a perfect square, this is a perfect square and this is 2 into this into this means it is like your middle term. Alright, so we will take square root on both sides. So we will have a plus c minus 2b the square root will be equal to square root of 0 means correct so we will have a plus c equal to 2b and we have proved it we will say hence proved okay so this becomes your answer if you have any doubts in physics chemistry maths class 9 or 10 icse type them in the comments below and I'll solve them as soon as possible. My offline coaching classes have reached full capacity. I will not be able to enroll any more students offline. However, due to so many parents calling me, I'm making my classes available online for the first time ever. To enroll to the online classes and learn at your own pace, click on the link below and I'll see you in class.